Hello everybody, it's Burak Ersus from Istanbul Agop Symbols. I am doing art installations and marketing and also I'm a product specialist at Istanbul Agop Symbols. So today I would like to introduce you uh, some of our series in our product range and I would like to start with our Exist series. And uh, Exist series are uh, price-wise really a good choice for intermediate and professional drummers. Uh, because they offer amazing sound quality with a very affordable price and they come in this natural finish and we also have this uh, brilliant finish options over here they can be ordered in both finishes and uh, we have some uh, different varieties of uh, weights in that series a normal exist line normal crashes uh, comes in medium weight and uh, we have over here the power series which are like, a, let's call it the heavier version of the normal Lego series, which are suitable for more rock music and heavy metal music. And we have this uh, ion series in this exist series. They come with the holes, and the holes give them a trashier, drier sound compared to the normal crashes. So let me demonstrate some of them for you guys. And moving to the other side, we have here our traditional series. Our traditional series represents the classical way of making the handling Turkish symbols. And they are, as you can see, they come in like a classic standard uh, symbol look. Uh, they are laid on top and bottom, and they are just uh, representing the classic Turkish handmade symbols. And they come in uh, three or four different weights. We have four different weights, the paper thin, medium, uh, thin and heavy versions. So uh, let me demonstrate some of the sounds for you. Moving to the other side, in traditional series we have also trashy symbols which are basically for effects. And you can see their weird shape. <laughs> their weird shape gives them a trashy sound character. And because the edge is so thin, they are so quick with the response and they open up too fast and decay too fast. Like, you get an instant response. And also they are very suitable for hand flying, for the percussionists. <clears throat> Moving to this side. We have our custom product range, which consists of three or different, three or four different series. One series in the custom range is our softness series. And as you can see in the look, the top, top, top part of the symbol is like partly lated and partly unlated. This gives a sound character which is somewhere in between uh, the traditional and our driest range of Turk symbols. Uh, this uh, unlated part helps the symbol sound uh, uh, a bit more dry, helps the symbol sound a bit more drier, and also the sustain is a bit more uh, lower than the traditional series compared to. I'll give you an example with that. As you can hear, uh, the stick sound is still very definite and very crispy, but the sustain is a bit more controlled and more dry compared to this one over here. For example...
And over here, we have another series in the custom range, which is special edition series. They are mainly for jazz. As you can see, you can maybe come closer to the backside a little bit, because the underneath of the symbol is not lathed at all. They are semi-polished, let's say. And the top side is roughly lathed. And because the bottom side is non-lathed, it gives a character of a, a darker and a drier sound. The lathing on top really helps the sound to be open and it's somewhere a bit drier than the southern range, let's say. And this is another product range in our custom line. Uh, this is, we call it Turk series. As you can see, they are completely unlated, which is uh, which makes the symbol the drier and darker and the less sustained of all in our product range. They are the driest ones. As you can hear, it has got a fast explosion but very short decay. This is because of the symbol being non-lated. Then here we have the highest end symbols here, which we call the signature series. And this consists of four or five lines in there. And let's start with the Mel Lewis line. As you may all know, Mel Lewis was a very famous jazz drummer, he's a legend. So his family gives us the right after his passing away to produce these symbols and we are still trying really hard to keep the the heritage going on with our quality and with our uh, craftsmanship. So we can say that these are really very good classy jazz symbols that you can play in any jazz settings in a big band. Uh, they come in uh, few models like we are 21 inch Mel Lewis ride which comes with two rivets installed. It just got such a nice sizzling sound. We have this 20 inch ride over here, it's not, with, it's not come, coming with sizzles. Then we have the legendary Soul and Funk drummer Idris Mohamed signature ride down there. This ride's specialty is the bottom side is completely unlated, underside is, and the top side is. Uh, hammered one more time after it's all finished on top which makes the symbol more controlled and the bottom side is unlated so the symbol is also extra controlled and dry with a clear nice pink and the symbol has got really nice bell sound too this is a very good general purpose ride also Moving to this side, we have the Cindy Blackwood Santana's signature series. Uh, she has got two different models. The first one is Home series. And when Cindy came up with the idea of a uh, simple, that's more like Tony Williams school type of a thing, we came up with the idea of these symbols. Uh, they are, as you can see, finished in black patina which gives symbol a bit added dryness and more control and they are mainly, the weight is around uh, thin and medium. We have few models here, the Crash 16 Crash, 18 Crash and last year we came with another signature model for Cinder Black and Santana and we call it the Mantra series. Cindy was about to start a tour with Lady Kravitz again, so she needs something more cutting and with more projection and volume. So we came up with the idea of the Mantra series. <clears throat> they are a bit more heavier than the Ohm series, only the high hat remains the same, just without the black patina that you can see on the Ohm series. Uh, if, you, if we don't apply the black patina, the symbol is brighter and more uh, open sound. So 
uh, that was okay for us. So we kept the symbol as it is. And the Montreal series, this ride is also a very good general purpose ride too. You can play many different musical settings with that ride. And it's got a very nice and high bell. So uh, I guess Cindy was pretty happy with this ride on tour. We also have the 20 inch crash over there. It's got a big open sound for rock and roll type of settings. And moving over here, we have the Egop Signature Series. Mr. Egop Tomerjik is our founder, so we came up with the idea many years ago to make some symbol that can make this heritage going on. And they come with the legendary green logo on them, which used to be very popular back in the 80s and 90s. And we have some different models in that range too, some flat rides, crashes, uh, chinas and hi-hats and rides. They come in also bigger sizes like 24, 26. Let me make a listen to some of them. And again, as you see, the symbol is almost non-lated at all. Very small lathing, lathing, lathing marks and simply semi-polished. So this gives a sound quality of uh, being very dark and also very woody sounding symbols. You can really hear the uh, wood sound of the stick with this symbol. China is also, also dark and very complex. This is our 30th anniversary series, and this is the top of our symbol production line. This symbol represents our uh, quality of craftsmanship, where we are really famous for. And as you can have a closer, closer look at the symbol, you don't see any logo on the symbol. We just have the cold stamp over here, and uh, this shows that we trust our craftsmanship, so we don't need to put any logo on that. Uh, this symbol has got a vintage type of a finish, and this symbol's bell is really special. Uh, if you ask me what makes it special, as you may know, with all the other symbols, the bell is normally pressed into the symbol. But with this, with this product, the 30th anniversary series, we press the bell by hand. One craftsman, one, one um, artisan holds the bell mold in the middle of the symbol, then the other one hammers the bell in. Then from the underside, uh, they, are, they are hammering the bell and they are pumping the bell up. So you can see many irregularities on the surface of the symbol and on the bell. Some of them can lean to the side a little bit, you know. But this is the beauty of this symbol. So it's not perfect all the time. And this is a unique instrument that you can, you only can have. There is no other, the same symbol you can find anywhere else. And their sound is like, uh, pretty much like very vintage. I'm gonna show you some examples. These symbols has got the old vintage type of uh, Turkish symbols vibe. So we are very proud of these series. So that's pretty much about it guys. Thank you for watching.